Michael Pollan's This Is Your Mind on Plants is a meticulous exploration of the human relationship with psychoactive plants, delving into history, culture, and his own personal experiences. The book considers three different plant-derived substances, opium, caffeine, and mescaline, each of which offers a distinctive lens on the broader relationship between humans and the natural world. The first section of the book examines opium derived from the poppy plant. Pollen retraces the complex history of opium and its derivatives, highlighting its medicinal uses and its capacity for addiction. He reflects on the legal and ethical ramifications of the war on drugs, questioning the rationale behind certain substances being deemed illegal, while others are not only legal but deeply integrated into daily life. Pollen further explores this paradox by revealing his own experiment with growing poppies and making a small amount of opium decades earlier, an experience that connects him personally to the cultural and legal narratives surrounding the substance. Moving to caffeine, a substance found in coffee, tea, and various other plants, Pollen dives into its global influence. Caffeine is the most widely used psychoactive substance in the world, and he details its biological effects on the human brain, its role in history, and its economic impact. Pollen provides an account of the origins and spread of these caffeinated beverages, considering how they have shaped societies and economies. He then undertakes an experiment by abstaining from caffeine for several months, giving him first-hand insight into the deep physiological and psychological dependencies that emerge from regular use. The final plant Pollen investigates is the peyote cactus, specifically the active component mescaline, which has been used for spiritual purposes by indigenous peoples in the Americas for thousands of years. He examines the spiritual and ceremonial use of mescaline, its influence on art and psychology, and discusses its legality, particularly in the context of religious freedom. Pollen contrasts the indigenous use of mescaline with the more recreational or spiritually exploratory usage in Western contexts, initiating a broader discussion about appropriation and the ethical dimensions of drug use. Throughout the book, Pollen draws on scientific research, historical analysis, and philosophical inquiry to provide a comprehensive look at these substances. He critiques the inconsistent ways in which different cultures and legal systems define and regulate mind-altering substances, highlighting the arbitrary lines often drawn between legality and illegality, medical use and abuse, ritual and addiction. Pollen makes it clear that our relationship with psychoactive plants is complex and deeply rooted in the shared human desire to change consciousness. He attributes this desire to a range of factors, from the pursuit of spiritual enlightenment to the need to enhance productivity in a modern capitalist society. This Is Your Mind on Plants is not just a contemplation of substances, but also an account of human nature, personal autonomy, and the struggle to make sense of the world. The author does not offer a prescriptive stance on the use of these substances, but instead advocates for a more informed and nuanced understanding. By doing so, Pollen invites readers to reflect on their own use or avoidance of psychoactive plants in a cultural and legal landscape that often lacks consistency. In summary, This Is Your Mind on Plants is both a narrative and a discourse on how humans interact with plants that alter their mental states. By weaving together science, personal experience, and cultural history, Pollen illuminates the diverse ways in which these plants affect our bodies, minds, societies, and legal frameworks. The book serves as a profound meditation on how natural substances have been integrated into human life, shaping our experiences and perceptions, ultimately highlighting the complex tapestry of our entwinement with the plant world. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.